Five Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a play to complement our base man coverage defense with our basic zone coverage defense. And the play we're going to be looking at today, uh, I was actually considering a couple different plays actually for this. I was obviously considering the, uh, uh, excuse me, the Sugar Cover Three Bluff. Uh, just because it has those stock purple zones that get pretty deep, and then I was also considering the uh, the the nine Velcro, and I actually ended up going with the nine Velcro just because it's easier uh, to set up, and it's uh, it's going to save us some time. So uh, just remember our basic front baseline, shift your linebackers to the right, spread your defensive line, and now we're set up. And all we have to do here is just slide uh, roads in, of course, like we normally do, and we're going to put him in a buzz zone if we can, if we have time. We're going to put Griffin in a, in a buzz zone, and we're going to quarterback spy one of these two guys. It uh, doesn't really matter who, but in this situation, we'll spy Jared Allen. And then I like to call the disguise cushion coverage for this. And and, and also, I really like to press, um, just because it's going to make it look just like that two men under. And uh, so now, they were used to man. They have their man-beating routes on the field, and now everything's just kind of covered. And now they're smothered, they're smothered, we jump their zone and eventually get a block shift for a sack. This gets into your opponent's head because they just saw a man, now they're seeing zone, they don't know what to do. They, they're going to have to you know, either make a, a, a quick read or throw the ball away because Kevin Williams is uh, one of the better defensive tackles in the game and is going to be able to do a good job at... You know, getting that block shift pressure. Obviously, you're going to make adjustments. You can make adjustments to these zones based off of his tendencies, you know, throwing drags and stuff like that. But there's so many things you can do. But as a basic starting point, I don't think there's any better uh, max coverage defense. Just to start out, just to just stock, you could just call it, and it works, than this 9 Velcro. Uh, just because it's set up already for you, you're only blitzing two, dropping everybody else into coverage. Um, and if they try to get, you know, throw deep streaks and stuff like that, you can click onto your guys, try to user catch or user intercept your opponent. Um, so guys, be sure to add this nine Velcro uh, to your playbook. And uh, guys, remember we like to use these max coverage defenses uh, in situations where, you know, they're gonna try to hit us deep. They're gonna try to go like with wheel routes and stuff like that. So maybe I don't know what happened on that play. I don't know where my uh, bl blue is on. I think I might have accidentally ran him in or something. And try that again. But that was weird. Um, anyways, what we call these plays in situations where um, they're going to be hitting us. Uh, they're going to try to go deep. Like second and one. Or they're, it's like a shot play situation. You know, that's where I really like this, uh, this max coverage defense. Yeah, there you see. Now if we try to throw it. Now we have him, you know, cover zero blitz uh, pressures. Those routes may be open, but now with these, these zones, they won't. So now we're just mixing in all sorts of different fronts, different coverages, different looks, and eventually they're, they're going to make a mistake. We're going to get a turnover, whether it be on this max coverage defenses or on the blitzes that, that we're going to discuss later on this week. So thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 content for free, and also be sure to leave your comment if you have any questions or need further explanation on the things that I discussed today. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.